All right, with Mackenzie Parks of the Oregon Girls Golf Team, back-to-back -back 78s to close out your high school career. I believe you started here with back-to-back -back 82, so you're a consistent <laughs> person start to finish. How did it feel out there? Well, I left a lot of short, or a lot of shots out there. I'm not very satisfied with my score. I know I could have played a lot better. Um, I had a lot of birdie opportunities, and nothing was just falling for me. I would run things by, or, and I wouldn't follow through with them. So, you know, my last high school tournament, it is kind of emotional. We already started crying, but I'm trying to keep it in. But being consistent enough, I'm, I'm hoping it'll put me in the top. 10 at least. I don't know how anyone else has done, but we'll see. We'll check the phone when we're done here just to see where you're at as you walk <laughs> yeah. off the course, but it's not too bad. I mean, there weren't a lot of people going low. Of course, you know, second day pressures, you know, a lot of people thinking about things. What were you able to think about? What did you focus on trying to, you know, make your way around the golf course? Well, it was more just the fact that it was my last high school match. It was nothing crossed my mind that it was state. I haven't thought about state and these past two days so mm -hmm. I think it was just the fact that it was my last high school tournament it just kind of hit me and made me realize and like appreciate the times that I've had with my team because I do have the best team in the state so I think I think coming in with 278s is well for other people but for me I know I can improve at the same time a little bit of the passing of the guard happened today Morgan McCorkle with a 79 and you're leaving, handing the program off to her and those young kids that you you and Marissa have tried to nurse along here this year. It's got to feel pretty good that uh, what your team did today, moving up, I think right now they've got you in fifth place, which is a pretty good jump and uh, a pretty strong way to finish the season. I mean, I, I mean, thanks for telling me that Morgan had a 79. Wow, that's amazing. You know, I knew, I tell them every single tournament, they know what they, they need to do and they just need to go out there and do it because, I mean, it's all in their head. I know they all have the potential to do it. And I think it's just the nerves and, you know, getting down on themselves too easily. You know, I can say that for past experiences that I got very down on myself. I mean, having three bogeys in a row, I mean, I don't know how many people can bounce back from that. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, the next hole, I was on the par five and two. And I was like, okay, well, I either eagle it or birdie it. Well, I ended up three-putting it. So, I mean, <laughs> again, it's really hard to bounce back from that. So I kind of ended rough, and I kind of knew I was going to, but I just, I mean, 78 to 78, but I was hoping to be a lot lower today, and I thought I was going to be, but I was just missing way too many putts. Sure. Well, Mackenzie, a great career. Go celebrate with your teammates. It was a good day for, for Oregon golf. <laughs> Thank you.